I'm joined by our first interviewee, Oren Orgab. Uh, you're the VP of Sales and Business Development at a very cool company uh, that I only discovered in the last couple of weeks. So Aero CRS are doing something that I have to be honest, I literally didn't even think about. Um, I never thought about all those airlines in the world which are running fairly small operations but still want to have that consumer-facing model. Uh, so before we get started and dig into the technology behind that, tell me about Aero CRS. What is the concept? What's behind it? And what do you do? Okay, uh, Aero CRS, uh, we work with the airline industry uh, for the past over 10 years. Uh, we have been providing them uh, with an online reservation system. Along the time, we added even more uh, services and solutions for them, including a BI tool, uh, digital services and more. Uh, the main uh, product is the Aero CRS uh, reservation system, the PSS, uh, which allows an airline to manage its entire inventory and reservations, uh, the flight operation schedule, uh, both B2C and B2B, an internet booking engine, a full reporting center uh, for the management to get the BI dashboard, connectivity with distribution channel, and uh, much, much more. I, I'm going to swear. Bloody hell, that's a lot of stuff. I mean, so basically, your philosophy is you bring the plane, we'll bring the system. Or yes. is that, am I simplifying it too much? You're simplifying it uh, oh. a lot, but yes, no. Uh, from the commercial side, we try to do it like that. Obviously, an airline has other requirements in terms of their fleet, their crew, their maintenance, uh, or other parameters. But uh, anything that has to do with their uh, sales and reservations, uh, we are here to provide. We target to uh, uh, all the small to the medium-sized uh, airlines, what we call in the industry, tier 4 up to tier 3, uh, low-cost carriers, uh, virtual airlines, startups, uh, with a very easy-to-use solution, with a very easy business model for them. Um, I mean, this, this wouldn't have been possible just uh, a few years ago, right? What is what has made this business possible? What has enabled you to uh, to provide a complete sort of front-end system for airlines um, and, and deliver that and distribute that to so many and then integrate the sales uh, into all the different distribution uh, platforms where you need to do that? What, what has allowed you to do that? Uh, I think, first of all, again, it was many, some years ago, yes, but uh, almost not from the beginning, but almost from the beginning that we went to the cloud which obviously made it all uh, easier uh, for airlines to join, uh, like almost like plug and play, uh, but it's very easy to set, uh, to set them up. It's very easy for them uh, then to communicate for anything they need, uh, whether it's functionalizing with the system, whether it's the support, whether it's anything else uh, that they want. And I think that the way that, uh, um, sorry, the direction that the, this, industry is, this industry is going to uh, also allows it because the airlines need, you know, uh, are getting changed, you know, f uh, from time to time, and we are here uh, to make them get it, and we try to do it even before that. Uh, for example, uh, our system, you know, the website template that we have was responsive to mobile earlier than most of our uh, competitor or the rest of the industry that went that way. So I guess you're you're working like a, a big digital team uh, that that any of the major airlines would have. Uh, and just delivering that kind of technology, keep innovating on that, um, the usability and everything that has to come with that to the airlines, which couldn't possibly have all of that, um, all of those resources themselves in-house. Exactly, and not only that, basically, uh, obviously there are solutions in the market. Uh, there are the key players, you know, of Amadeus, Sabre, and some others, but uh, having a, a, a very big system with very, very high cost is not something that a uh, small to a medium airline uh, can stand. Also with other uh, vendors, it can be a long time to, uh, to implement uh, or other difficulties that the uh, airline can find. And with us, we came to, uh, to the solution of literally an airline can go live if they're doing the things correct from their way. From our side, they will be able to go live like within a week, including uh, the back office system, even including a website template that they will uh, run and manage and sell uh, with the payment gateway so they can sell uh, online via credit card. 
uh, very simple, very so fast. Who are your typical customers? Are they customers that are traditionally running charter operations, uh, private operations, and actually seeing that they have a, a lot of empty legs and empty segments and actually wanting to commercialize that? Or are we seeing people who are actually you know, running uh, commercial airlines, scheduled airlines, but they're really doing this in a, in a sort of old-fashioned way, and you're actually helping them to bring them into the sort of uh, 2017, 2018 pace of things? I would say mostly the scheduled uh, operators. We support charter operations as well, but not. Uh, uh, this is not our focus, I mean, our head uh, market. Though, again, this market is also, can also be served uh, by Aero CRS. But it's all the scheduled carriers, irregular operations, you know, because even if they decided to run charters on scheduled basis, they still can do it. From our side, we provide them the technology and the system, the abilities to do so. Uh, it's not for us to schedule or to determine what they are going to do with yeah, that. Yeah, business model. Uh, exactly. Yeah. We are here to provide them the tool uh, to do the job for that. Now, tell me about the technology behind this, because you're a 16-person company. Um, so that's it's not a huge team. That means uh, I guess you guys have worked really hard to, to get uh, this platform up and running in a really short time. But um, you know, and to, to have 50 different airlines using that, that's really impressive. So what's the technology behind this and how much of your investment is spent on uh, development and uh, integration versus uh, sort of marketing and uh, obviously getting the awareness of that. Yeah, yeah, I can tell you that the majority of the team are uh, developers and support uh, staff, uh, the marketing or sales department uh, uh, that you run is quite small and the majority is in to uh, maintain the system to improve it, uh, to be there again that one step ahead to think about uh, how we can, what we can add even before the airline will think about uh, that they wanted it. I mean, some, some of the things will come from the airlines uh, according to the needs, some will come from us uh, to think uh, one minute ahead of them. And how uh, plug and play is it, uh, or how bespoke is it? Can you, can you really work and adapt it, or is it really designed as a plug and play model? It's basically, it's, like, it's almost like a plug and play model. You know, we need to set it up. Uh, uh, the airline will choose the functionality that it wants. We even, off, we even provide them the, uh, with the possibility of choosing what they want or, or not, or, or at which stage. For example, if a small airline starts and they say, okay, we don't want to use a frequent flyer model, no problem. They can actually like almost tailor-made, you know, their, their uh, the entire edition, so it will fit their needs in terms of. Uh, so you can even uh, bring in a loyalty program into that. There is a built-in uh, loyalty program in that uh, departure control system, which is uh, in the system that airlines are using. A uh, flight information display and many uh, interesting options for them. I think that among that, one of the things that an airline really needs is the, to get itself distributed, because eventually, you know, you can have the best aircraft and the best crew and the best team, but you want to sell, you want to get uh, people to book you. Uh, so uh, having the website template support um, um, all platforms basically, you know, from uh, uh, all main browsers and tablets and responsive to mobile. And most important for them is the API that we have, so they, co they, they can connect either to an, uh, to an agent or an OTA that that is uh, that they want to work with in their region that will connect to our API and we are also doing it on our own connecting uh, to the big uh, uh, players in the industry Skyscanner, Momundo, so Travel Fusion, Kayak, yeah, yeah, etc. Yeah. Even, even the global distribution system, the GDSs uh, with Amadeus, uh, via Haner, uh, with Sabre um, and all them. We're doing whatever we can to help the airline to be a uh, that's pretty, pretty impressive. That's where, I mean, yeah, pretty impressive. So, I mean, this is really a great example of SAAS, Software as a Service. Exactly. And, um, you know, I think we've seen a growing trend uh, away from owning technology uh, to licensing technology. Uh, ultimately, you guys are, are kind of at the forefront of that, and I guess enabling uh, SMEs uh, to actually enter that same space that to was current, to yeah. enter the same space that was currently owned by just the, the big players. Yes, I think that, uh, uh, that it, there is a big market which is not the legacy carrier uh, that needs 
this type of uh, solution. Do you think with your, uh, your clients and maybe with future clients that we're going to see the smaller players in the aviation sector really disrupting what we currently accept today as the norm? I think that slowly but safely, yes, you know, it allows them to get uh, a big airline uh, ability, call it, with a small airline uh, model pricing, etc. And they can really play and innovate and work with new business models and uh, see, uh, see what kind of concepts they can launch, I guess, without having to put that focus on building the back-end systems. I think that they will not want to build their own systems because eventually uh, I think today most airlines will go for call it a shelf product and yes. go to the to the cloud which by the way one of the advantages of the cloud you know when you're updating a version when you're adding a feature they will uh, simply automatically get it uh, yeah. without the need of going to implement it on their server or anything else the support uh, the maintenance uh, which is 24-7 uh, and is not on their office. Yeah, great. Oren, you've shown something that I think, you know, a lot of people just didn't imagine was possible. So if anyone has a few million uh, yeah. dollars lying around and fancies starting up an aircraft operation, you're the guy to speak to. Yes, to eventually the part from our side will not be a million dollars, much, much, much less than that. Do you want to give us some ballpark figures? Uh, the, when there again, when there is an airline, feel free to contact us. We'll so we're talking the tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, tens and less, uh, tens basically. And less, so yes. Uh, yeah. So that's yeah. I think reassuring um, and uh, really gets me excited about you know what we might see. Thank you very much again, Aaron. Thank you. Great having you here, and uh, good luck with everything. Thank you very much.